we are now looking at a practice video on further differentiation on trigonometric and exponential functions. Now for practice video, we have a set of five questions for you to attempt and you'll be given time to do so. Now let's look at question one. For question one, we have this equation here. Look closely, you have the exponential expression multiplied to, within the set of bracket, two trigonometric terms. So what we need to do as we are required to find the first derivative, we have to use the product rule of differentiation. So here you go. If you have y equals u times v, and u is a function of x, and v is a function of x, then the formula would be dy over dx. We keep the u and differentiate the v with respect to x plus now we keep the v and we differentiate the u the u over the x so applying this rule we will be able to arrive at the form which is required so take a few minutes and work on this question yourself so rewriting the equation y is equal to e to the power 2x bracket sine 2x minus cos 2x. The first derivative, I will differentiate e to the power 2x first, then I'll get 2e to the power 2x. The 2 comes from differentiating the 2x keeping the sine 2x minus cos 2x intact then next keep e to the power 2x but differentiate what I have here sine 2x then I get 2 cos 2x the 2 comes from the differentiation of the expression of the angle then when I differentiate the negative cost I get positive sine 2x but mode but differentiating the 2x I get a 2 so I have 2 sine 2x expanding the expression here I have 2 e to the power 2x sine 2x minus 2e to the power 2x sine 2x of cos 2x then take this e to the power 2x multiply to 2 cos 2x I should get a 2e to the power 2x cos 2x and take e to the power 2x times 2 sine 2x I get 2 e to the power 2x sine 2x now these two terms will cancel off so what I have in the end and these two are the like terms by adding up I have 4e to the power 2x sine 2x and that's not the end yet because I need sine x cos x there is a rule involving sine 2x and that is 2 sine x cos x so write it like that 2 sine x cos x Take the 2, multiply to the 4, I get an 8, e to the power 2x, then sine x cos x. So, to finish it off, shown. So, what we need to have 
learned is the use of the product rule of differentiation and to really apply it correctly next is also the identities of trigonometry like here where we have sine 2x it should give us 2 sine x cos x